This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a dishwasher that's leaking from the corner. So we're just gonna pull this seal out away from its channel. It comes right out. There's no screws or anything. You just pull it out. We're gonna brush all this dried detergent from the rubber you can use an old toothbrush, it work great. And we're just try trying to clean this up and then we're gonna push it back into the channel, but um, not way into the channel, just a little bit. And then we'll let the door push in on it and kind of set it. This is gonna create a better watertight seal. If this seal gets pushed in too far over time, it can create a little gap between the plastic door and the rubber seal. So pulling it out and then cleaning it and then putting it in just partially and letting the uh, door push in on it to create a seal again is a good way to do it. I'm also cleaning down here in this little corner and you have the food debris and detergent that builds up over time. And that's gonna create a better watertight connection too. And the worst case scenario is you can replace this part. It's very cheap and it's really easy just to push it into the channel Take it out and push it into the channel when, when you get the new one. So I'm putting it in just lightly and then I'll do the same on the other side. We're going to clean it up using uh, some kind of a, a brush is good. You could even use a rag. You just want to get, get the rag wet and then use it to clean off all of the accumulated dried detergent. And that dried detergent gets kind of hardened and it uh, messes up the watertight seal. Another thing that can cause um, a leak in the edge of the door is if you have a big thing like a frying pan or big plates, it can deflect the water in a weird way where it can sneak out. But most often it's just these seals have become um, a little bit too dirty or they've been too compressed and we're just getting in the way of that by pulling it out. There's also a way you can check if you're having trouble with your dishwasher not draining, often is the air gap. You can pull off these two parts. And I noticed on this one, there was a little fishbone caught in there, pretty common, in the little center tube. And that can create a matrix that has other debris that goes around it to a point where it actually clogs the machine's ability to, to drain. So this is a really easy thing to do. You can pull the silver cover off and then pull the white cover off and then you'll be able to get it cleaned up. I'm putting them all back now, got the white cover back, put the silver cover back with the um, opening facing the sink. And that did the trick for this dishwasher. I hope that helps you to get rid of the leak you have on the side of the door. And thanks so much for watching. And please subscribe so we can send you more videos. Thank you.